Coating thickness is commonly measured using non-destructive gauges. However, those coating thickness gauges have a few significant limitations. They can only be used on metallic substrates, and most can't distinguish the thickness of individual layers after all the coats have been applied. They only measure the gap between the gauge probe and the metal substrate. That gap is represented by all of the layers applied to the substrate, for example, the primer, intermediate, and top coat combined. But occasionally there's a need to measure the thickness of the individual layers, the primer, intermediate, or top coat separately. This is typically needed for troubleshooting, when there may be a question raised as to the thickness of one of the underlying coats, or for failure analysis. In this case, the thickness of each layer can be measured destructively using a device called the Took gauge. The Took gauge conforms to ASTM D4138. The Took gauge was originally invented in the early 60s by a man named Raymond Took of Micrometrics. It consists of a gauge body in a battery compartment, 50 power microscope, and a scale etched into the lens, and a focus adjustment for it. There are three tungsten carbide precision cutting tips with the instrument. It's a destructive tool in that it makes an incision or a groove about the width of a pencil line through the coating film down to the substrate. You measure that groove with the microscope up to 50 mils in thickness. The Took gauge measures coating thickness using basic trigonometry. That is by cutting a precision V groove into the coating system using one of the tips, a right triangle is created. The angles of the right triangle are known and by measuring the length of one leg of the triangle or the depth of the thickness, the depth of the coating, you can calculate the length of the other leg. If the coating layers are different or alternating in color, then the thickness of each layer can be seen and the thickness measured through the Took gauge lens. You don't have to know trigonometry to use the gauge and you don't have to calculate the angle. The cutting tips and the scale etched in the microscope do all the work for you. The microscope and cutting tips are unaffected by the type of substrate, the effect of the base metal, the surface profile, but the top of the coating does have to be relatively smooth. For example, if you're looking at thickness on a concrete block, the results may be inaccurate if that block has a rough texture because the cutting angle will vary. And in order to get the proper thickness, the angle has to be consistent. That's all there is to it. To find out more information on measuring thickness or other subjects, log on to ktauniversity.com.